Okay, uh, so we've got the uh, oil pump housing and we've got it meticulously clean after the uh, vapour blasting. Uh, uh, we've got two uh, two sort of o-ring seals that go around the oil pump but we're only going to be using one of them for now got the new gasket and of course we have the oil pump itself so in a minute we're going to be putting the we're going to put well seal on the end and then we're going to put the gasket in uh, do we need well seal? No, we don't really because um, yeah, if it weeps, well, it, it doesn't matter because uh, you know it's not going to leak it outside of the engine. But I'll do it anyway to guarantee 100% oil pressure. So I put the gasket in. The most important thing, of course, is there's lots of weird holes in the gasket and there's lots of weird holes in the uh, back of the crankcase. Uh, I'll just see if I can make that any any better so we can see it any better a bit better isn't it? yeah of course i can't do anything now <laughs> because it's in my way but there we go um yeah so all these you've got to make sure i was 100 sure obviously that you've got the gasket the right way around what i once did this and did actually get it wrong uh not forgetting that you keep turning it keep turning it, you can't quite get it right if you then turn it over then it'll line you know if it doesn't line up that way it will line up that way uh, then we'll put the uh, then the oil pump will just uh, slide in and we do it up and there's four bolts to do it up and then we we'll use these two o-rings we use one of them and the first one just goes around the outside of the oil pump and there's this little lip here and that sits in that little lip there around the outside of the oil pump and then the second one will be used later. I'll put it away now. That goes inside the inner primary chain case. There's a little groove in the inner primary chain case and it goes in there and that will then in turn slip over the oil pump. Uh, oops. I think there's that because if you notice just how thin this, that, that's all there is between the oil pump and you know the outside of the engine. Um, it's, it, it never leaks there. I think that's why they have this uh, these O-rings there. Um, well, there's anyway one O-ring because uh, the other O-ring won't have any effect there. But you know that wall is so thin, but it doesn't never leaks there. I suppose there shouldn't really be any oil there. I suppose because it should all be in the oil pump, and then it's in the inside the primary chain case. So. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we've got the first O-ring will go there. So we'll put some well seal on the back of there. We'll put some well seal on the back of the pump. Uh, then we'll put the gas, I'll get the, um, there's these four bolts and uh, there's three of one length and one longer one. Uh, the, and the longer one, can we see it? Uh, there, that's a dowel. Uh, okay, that's a dowel. It's actually sticking out about a quarter of an inch or even longer than that. Uh, and it's that dowel that locates in the back of the oil pump. Make, that means you've got it on in the right place. And the longer bolt uh, goes in there, the 11 o'clock position in that dowel. So there's four bolts to hold it in, threes of one length and one longer one that goes there. Right, I'll get all that. I'll get the well seal on and everything and then we'll, we'll put that in. <laughs> 